Hello guys, and welcome to the first episode of our salicylic acid saga. Today we'll be making salicylamide from salicylic acid and urea. This is the first time I tried this reaction, so it will be an experience for us both. First, in a conical flask, weigh out 21 grams of salicylic acid, 27.2 grams of urea, and 1.7 grams of boric acid, which will act as a catalyst. Put it on a hot plate and turn on the heating. Cover the top in aluminium foil to prevent moisture getting in. After about 5 minutes of heating, all the solids clump up and melt. Keep the temperature at about 180 degrees Celsius. After one hour, the reaction is still taking place. After two hours, we stop the heating and cool the flask down to room temperature. Next, we make a solution of 100 ml of water and 4 ml of 25% ammonia. Add it to our flask and set up for heating again. We boil the contents for 5 minutes and then cool everything down again. We measure out 100 ml of 30% hydrochloric acid. We can see it fuming since it's so concentrated. We add the HCl to our flask in small portions. Adding it about 20 ml at a time is a pretty safe bet. After adding most of the HCl and waiting a couple of minutes, we get a thick precipitate. Looks pretty much like feta cheese. We filter our product. We wash everything a couple of times with cold water. Now it's time for the recrystallization. Since I couldn't find a reference of how soluble salicylamide actually is in methanol, I just eyeballed it and measured out 125 milliliters. This was way too much and probably the cause of my low yield. I would probably have to use about 30 ml to start and add more if needed. We heat up our methanol and start adding in crude salicylamide. We can see a weird color change from colorless to purplish pink, but in the literature it says salicylamide is white to light pink, so, th so this is probably the reason. After cooling it down to about 40 degrees, we put it in a refrigerator and let it sit there for about an hour. Lundes, 
After an hour in the fridge, we can see a lot of small needle-like crystals in fell out of solution. We set up for, for filtration, but we put a beaker of cold water under our funnel. Since salicylamide is so insoluble in water at about 2 grams per liter, the idea is to dilute our methanol and crash out the remaining salicylamide. Filter the diluted down methanol and add it to our original filtrate. We got about 8.9 grams of a pure product which is a 45% yield. I think we lost a lot of our product in the recrystallization step. The easiest way to determine if we actually made salicylamide is to check the melting point. We take a test tube and fill it with a bit of our pure product, put it on the hot plate and insert a thermometer. Gradually heat up everything until it starts to melt. My product started to liquefy at about 139 degrees Celsius, which is close to the literature value of about 140 to, to about 143 degrees Celsius, which confirms that we indeed have pure salicylamide. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.